Lydia Daydal, Fight Connect TV, and I'm backstage at Cage Conflict number three in the Devonish Belfast with a victorious Ben Davis and a victorious new champion, Andreas Binder. Coach and student, champ and champ. I sent, I sent Andreas, he's my general. He's yeah. my captain, yeah, man. <laughs> he's like, he, he made, like, it's just amazing. He, like, he's the main event tonight. Well, no, one of the main events, but he was above me on the card. Yeah. And, like, it was hard, I'll tell you the truth, to fight on a card with all my students because, like, coaching enough, like, Indra will tell you, whenever I am coaching, I come home and I'm drained and I have to go back and start teaching classes throughout the week. It just takes so much out of me, like, so, like, to fight on the same card is amazing. But, like, you helped me corner some of them fights and it's just... It's just a dream come true, do you know what I mean? I always wanted since I was a little novice, working my way through amateur, now a pro, fighting alongside my coach. It's just, it's just surreal, do you know? It's just something so heartaking for me anyway, coming from, like I said, starting as novice, amateur and now pro, and winning my first professional title means the world to me. The world can't explain it. He was so naive, man, like, like he, he had always, the, his biggest, um, attribute will say was his belief yes. it was naive when he was young but he's like now like he's only how old are you 23 23 and he's like he's humble now he's like he's hard working he's always been hard working he's always been hard working but he's just unbelievable man you know like I'm, I'm, i had some I'm, battles with him over the years <laughs> <laughs> I was going to fight a light heavyweight when I first yeah. started off in MMA. When he, started, when he started training with us, he came from judo and he was like, I'm trying to put on weight, I want to fight a light heavyweight. And I was like, Andreas, man, you're not a light heavyweight, you're like, you'll be a welderweight. And he was like, oh, never make, what's that, 77? And then um, I says, okay, right. I, I, I let him train with um, one of our students called Wilmar Ehrenberg. He's an old school of MMA as well. Yeah. Big Latvian giant. And uh, he's a light heavyweight professional. And then Andreas trained with him a few times, tried judo for him, and there's no move in him. <laughs> no, no way. And he was like, okay, I'll, I'll go to I'll fight a middleweight. And yeah. then we got him down to welterweight eventually. Yeah. Next yeah. step, lightweight. Yeah. Yeah. And then again? Half tough, definitely. I'm going to defend this baby. Just enjoy my time now with some family and friends. You know, I pushed everyone away because this fight was so personal to me. Um, look, all this, all this is over now. I'm just happy. I'm. I'm a true martial artist and I wish Dermot the, the most of respect out of everything that we've went through. At the end of the day, we're mar mixed martial artists. Whatever happens outside the cage, whatever, we shake hands at the end. It's called respect, Do you know, and that's it. I think everyone, you know, it, th there obviously is an entertainment enjoyable factor for people and fans in the build up when they see there's a little bit of thing online. But as you said, you know, the important thing is you shake hands, you know, just as I was grabbing for the interview there, you went over to him as he's with the medics, you know, that's what's important. But let's not take away from a fantastic finish from yourself, you know. Yeah, um, yeah like, you know, it was the most hyped fight on this card, 110%. Um, I wanted to put on a show the way I said, I said, between me and him, I know that for a fact. I was either going to get knocked out or he was going to get knocked out, but it was going to be a finish because we had so much history, especially from the last can was with the accidental elbow at the back of my head. But look, it's accidents, shit happens, sorry for my language, but that's, that's where it is. And look, we um, thank God and thank Cage Conflict and Liam and um, Patrick and everything for showcasting my skill against his skill inside the cage and I did it. You know, I, I proved everyone wrong, it, it was meant to be. That was his best performance. Yes. That was a mature performance, you know. In the first fight, he was hurt in Dermot, but he, he, like, he went off the game plan. The game plan was single shots, pick him apart. We knew that Dermot has a strong upper body, yes. that he's a good counter cross hook. Um, hook cross yes. that's that's his bread and butter he's and he's a strong if he catches you with that left hook or across he can finish you that's what he rocks andreas with because andreas caught him with the right hand bust his eye and then got carried away when you don't at, the, at pro level at the top amateur level now is a high level you don't look for the finish the finish happens when yes. it happens you know Absolutely. So Absolutely. that was his best performance man. he's he's here There's this man here come on in yes, bro. perfect right. timing yeah, yeah. 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 Well done, Andres. Yeah, good man. Well, good well, man. Well, good well, man. Well, That's what we like to see. There was only wind up. There was nothing fucking. Yeah, I know. Man. There was nothing in it. It's all about the game. I know, bro. <laughs> I know, man. <laughs>
like all of my, my students are getting all defensive over him right. and you like and I and I said to the man nah Dermot's Drew a good Mersh man just, I just no, said he's, he's just one of them tick people that you know he'll <laughs> say what he says prick. you know prick ginger prick <laughs> no but that's you like you're like I know you stood up to like people that other people I've heard you online people that are too afraid to open their mouth and you'll come out and say yeah, yeah. I respect you the for that the ballot authority the SPG yeah, Rocho exactly. wankers <laughs> 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 Yes. I, I, I definitely won't edit it, but those <laughs> are the, the views of Dermot and, and not our fucking XTV. Yeah. <laughs> He's retired now, yeah. We'll, He's retired, we'll, we'll actually. We, we, we might try and get him. He's done. Um, but listen, a, a fantastic. It just one of those nights where. I won't forget it. I know you guys won't forget yeah, it. It's yeah. just made really sweet. I mean, you've had a tough couple of months with the gym yeah. and everything. Obviously, the fire. Um, so I think everyone that knew you were here tonight, that the you know wanted to see you get the win. Yeah. Um, I know I certainly did. Obviously, it's not great to see anyone and lose. All our students but have been fighting for the yes, gym. They've absolutely. They've been so active since that. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's been. I, I have seen it, and I've they've, I've spoke to them. They spoke to me online. You know. Um, and just know that the community is with you yeah. in this and uh, you know hopefully from strength to strength here yeah. we go right? no, like we're building the gym is like the planning permission has just come true now we're literally now I'm I want to get another fight if I can my knee I don't know what's wrong with my knee but I've hurt my knee somehow but um, hopefully I can get on cage warriors and um, that's what I want. I want to fire Cage Warriors. And, uh, well, let's talk. Are, are we back now? Are we back for good? Yeah. Yeah. Of course like, he's good back. Stuff. Man, I wasn't sure back. whether this was just a, you know, put your toe in, dip yeah. it in the water no, and see no, what no. happens. No, he's back. I've been he's like, back. I've been like, I've had a lot of bad injuries. Yeah. And like now my, at my age, like I'm not, a, I'm not too old. I'll be 35 in June. Mm -hmm. But um, I've had a lot of bad injuries and bad luck. Last year I went to fight a few times and yeah. then I got... One injury to my sternum, then by when I got over that, I got cut. I had a fight booked and then I got a cut, so I couldn't take that fight. Then I got a replacement fight for a UK title. And then your man, all of a sudden, after they offered me it, all of, I think his team must have refused the fight. So it was like, I just got bad luck. And then all my students had fights, so I couldn't yeah. fight, you know, it was just too much gone. And then the gym and, you know, so if I, I want to fight, but I, at the end of the day, I fight for them. You know, so absolutely. You know, but I've got a few more, like what did it say? A few more yards left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Listen, Andres, we know what's next for yourself. Um, look, I just want to stay active now. I'm, I'm going on holidays for the first time in a year and a half. A hol a proper holiday instead of just training camp. Because I was always every time I go, I was in training camp always, always. So I just kind of pushed everyone away. But uh. I'm going on holidays in August and I just want to stay active as I can. Try and fight in London in Probellium next next month. I just want to fight. I want to try and get at least another three, four fights under my belt and then see what happens from there. Defend this belt, that's the most important one. Give me whoever. Well, listen, starting the pro career off to a great start, so I wish you all the best yeah. and I look forward to seeing you can again. Can I just um, give a mention? Yes. So, during my fight, you've seen um, my student who broke his knee really bad, Eric Cassidy, like tragic accident during training, broke his knee. And um, I have a GoFundMe, so if everybody, I want to try and raise as much money as I can because we all know insurance companies are complete assholes and he couldn't get anything. So, like, we're trying to raise the money for him ourselves. So, Eric Cassidy, GoFundMe, I'm going to post all this stuff after this. Um, please donate what you can. When our gym's up and running, we're going to do a, a novice MMA or we'll do BDJ super fights or something in the gym. We'll, we'll do more stuff to raise more money for him. To get his treatment and stuff like in, in Southern Ireland, healthcare is it's just non-existent. Like you know, for unless you have health insurance. So if we can help him, then if you can help him, please give some money. Also, my wife Indra, uh, Michelle, the Silva, our BDJ coach, and who else is fighting on I I U R in Uri? Uh, um, Jesus, my head's gone blank. <laughs> <laughs> we have lots of people fighting anyway. I U R. So like, big shout out to them, okay? Peace. And I will, when we're putting up all the links for the videos and different yeah, stuff, I'll put the link for the fund me as well. So we'll yeah. make sure and try and get you some extra, extra yeah. cash there. Lovely to meet you Thank again. You. Lovely to Thank see you. you. Lovely Thank to you. see you. Always a pleasure. Andreas Binder and coach Ben Davis here at Cage Conflict number three.